We're joined by head coach Jenna Hall after an unbelievable victory for your team today. one nothing, nine innings, yeah. unbelievable. How would you describe this game, and how did your team find a way to win? I mean, Skip was unbelievable, like, to deal for nine innings against a quality offense like that. I'm just so proud of her, like, her and Coach Brown are just working together pitch for pitch, and to see that come together, and just, I think the biggest thing for me is, like, we continue to go on this track, and the more we go forward, like, the sky is the limit for this group, and that's why I'm so proud. Like, there's so much belief. Um, it just feels, it feels amazing. I'm just so proud of them and so happy for them. You mentioned Skip and just how dominant she was. What was she doing so well in the circle that was so untouchable? Yeah, I mean, Skip throws three speeds, and anytime you have a pitcher that can spin it and throw spe three speeds, that's difficult as a hitter. And she's just scratching the surface of who she's going to become. And if she's already here at this point, like, I'm just excited about the future. But, I mean, she hit her spots. She got ahead. Those are the biggest things that we've talked about, and she just absolutely came out. And she was hyped for this game And I, when we gave her the ball, and I'm just proud of her for sticking through it. Nine innings is a long game, and she just kept dealing the whole way through. Offensively, runs were super hard to come by. Only one run, just one single run. What was your takeaway, though, from your offense and how they battled today? Yeah, I mean, we left a lot on base, but I was just proud of the battle. We had a lot of discipline. We put a lot of balls in play, a lot of runners on base. We hit some good balls. You know, and we don't talk about hits. We talk about quality. And for us to continue to be disciplined, we made her work all the way through the ninth. And, you know, when you stay after it and you continue to work and you stay present in the place that you're in, good things happen for you. And I think that's kind of the culmination of what happened there in the ninth inning. You coached at Ohio State. One of your assistants, Lily Piper, also a star at Ohio State as a player. How does this win rank in your career? Um, I mean, for me, it's like – it's big just because I'm so proud to wear the green and white, and I think coming into an in-state school, the goal is to be the best team in the state. And I think we proved to a lot of people this week that we are at the top of the state, and you know we're going to continue to get better. Um, of course, it means a lot to Lily. I think coming back to your home is always a big deal. And you know this place did a lot for me in my career, and I'm not unaware of that. I'm just so proud to be here in this moment um, and to be a Bobcat and to know that we have – the best team in the state and we're going to continue to show that you know through and through and lean into this joy right now and just like absolutely love it and then tomorrow we wake up and we get ready for central michigan and we don't we don't live in the past we live in the future so i'm excited for that lastly coach 10 wins in a row w what has your team taught you what have you learned the most from your team during this 10 win win game winning streak that they believe in this culture they believe in each other um, they believe in themselves and i couldn't be more grateful for them and the buy-in and the belief that they've had in what we brought to the table. And we talked about this, you know, in the huddle and in every week. It's not who we're going to be now. It's like who we're going to be down the road. And it's a matter of getting better. And the growth of this team from week one in February to now is just like it's off the charts. And I'm so pumped for them and only more excited about what's down the road for us. All right, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah.